make. Bagel makes. We're making bagel. Hi, welcome to the Nerdy Dad. Today we're making. What are we making? Bagel. And we have a guest appearance. Bagel. By Captain America. Captain America, say hi. Hi. Time to bagel. We're gonna start by assembling our bagel dough using a straight dough method. That means everything's gonna go into our bowl. We're gonna add water. We're using instant yeast so we don't even have to prehydrate our yeast. So let's get cracking. We're gonna need three cups of the heaviest bread flour you can find. This is the highest gluten flour around. Can you put this in the big bowl? She's the best helper, I mean obstacle. After our white bread flour, we're gonna add half a cup of whole wheat bread flour. Can you add this in, Daniel? The whole, the whole all thing. It. We need the whole thing. Can you put the whole thing in? Two teaspoons of yeast. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And a quarter cup of regular sugar. old table sugar. Into the work bowl. Ready? Now clean up all the glass so the kids don't chuck it off the counter. Now time to mix a mix a mix a mix a. Before we start hydrating anything, Let's distribute all of our dry goods. Danny, can you mix with the whisker? Whisk? The whisker. Why is it the whisker? Because it has whiskers. So everyone gets a turn. Daniel, can we count to five? Since I'm turning five? Because you're turning five, let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now it's Miriam's turn. And now, Everyone has a chance to mix. Huh? No! Me too! Oh, hook. In. Put it on low and I will drizzle in my water. You also add it all at once. Doesn't really matter. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Now that is it. There's no oil in this recipe, just plain straight water. Everything is gonna come together. You need this four to six minutes on medium low speed. I leave it on the lowest setting in my mixer so it doesn't break. Our 20 minutes rest is up. Check this out. It hasn't really risen. It's okay. It's not what we're looking for. When we heat our bread dough up in our kettle, because that's what makes bagels bagels, they're gonna finish rising the few minutes rest between the kettle and going into our super hot oven. My kids are eating lollipops right now, so we have a few minutes. We're gonna fill our kettle, get it on the stove, and then we're gonna explain a little bit about the water that we're gonna be boiling our bread in. Since we're making bagels, what's the difference between a bagel and a roll? Other than the obvious hole in the middle, bagels are made differently. They're both bread dough. They both might look, feel, taste similar, but the texture is what separates the bagel from the non-bagel. See, bagels are uniquely boiled. There's only one typical bread that is made the same way, and that's a soft pretzel. So if you wanted to make a soft pretzel, add a base to your kettle, such as baking soda. Bagels are shaped and boiled, then baked, where rolls are just shaped, risen, and baked. And you will notice the difference in the skin and texture of the interior of your product. Our water kettle is on the fire. We're gonna begin shaping our bagels into rounds and then press a hole in the middle. That's my preferred method with uh, my children, but I've seen plenty of bagel shops make a strip and then fold them into a circle pattern. Adults, you're gonna to need to make your balls into bulls or little spheres. And then kids, you pinch in the middle all the way through really, really hard then you get a hole and you're going to stretch these holes out. If you find that it's a little difficult to do, what you can do is you can make the bowl and let it rest for five minutes. That's perfect. To turn your dough into bowls, you do not want to flour them. So kids flouring them is very not helpful. But once they're into circles, into spheres, flour each sphere and that will make pushing the center hole in your bagels much easier. There's also a purpose to this hole. What's the purpose to the hole, guys? 
The purpose of this bagel hole is so that way the water that we're going to boil our bagels in can contact much more of the surface. It's going to give us a better rise. As it sits, the dough rests and it becomes easier to stretch. Okay? It's not about Bagel. how hard you pull, it's about Bagel. how gentle you pull. Bagel. One finger, show me a finger. Push down, in the middle. All the way down. All the way, all the way, all the way down. All the way, all the way, all the way down. All the way, all the way. Are you at the bottom? Are you at the bottom? Okay, now you pick it up. And you pinch, squeeze right there between your two fingers. In the middle, in the middle, all the way in the middle. All the way through. And now watch, you can stretch the dough from the middle out. Good job, we stretched a bagel. We're gonna do that to the rest of our bagels, and then you have to let them rest. This is equivalent to your rise. This one. Even though it really this isn't. One. The point of this is we're gonna let our dough shaped in our bagel rounds rest for about 20 minutes. That time is enough time to let the gluten network relax. So when we put it in the kettle, that heat is going to let our yeast work really, really fast. It's going to give us the lift and a little bit of fluffiness that we're looking for in a bagel. Remember, bagels are still pretty dense, so it's okay if they don't rise all the way. And uh, these aren't light, so enjoy them while you can. Our dough has rested, our oven is preheated to 425, and our kettle is at a simmer. Let's go. Time to get these bagels boiling. Here's our kettle. No. There's our bagels. I chose to add salt to my kettle. I like the flavor gives the bagels and salt in your water will increase the boiling temperature due to boiling point elevation, another science phenomenon. Kettle your bagels for 30 to 45 seconds per side. Put them directly on your baking tray and top it with any toppings you want to. Rest five minutes and bake in a 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. These bagels look fantastic. We got the crust, we have the fluffy interior, we have the toppings, that's just what we're looking for. Now we're eating lunch. Thanks for watching The Nerdy Dad, where we bring you family fun food science. And that's the dog. <laughs> hey, get your own lunch. Thanks for watching this video with the Nerdy Dad. Subscribe to me on social media at Nerdy Dad Foods for more accessible family food science.